bunny here a long time no video I know but uh, finally I'm back <laughs> with another convention vlog slash haul video um, this is going to be for Stanley's Los Angeles Comic Con aka Comic Cosmic Expo 2016 so I'll of course I'll do the little rundown of the convention and then I'll show you guys the covers off so overall this convention I thought was just okay. Um, I think part of the reason why is my expectations are up here and it came to about here. Um, with this convention I've always heard amazing things about it and it's been rated like the top convention in the states for the past couple years and whatever and so like I had a lot of expectations um, which I shouldn't have done but I don't know it was just it was different and it was my first year going. Um, I would say that, that my experience was mainly due to the fact that there was just not a lot of panels and things that I was interested in, um, and also the dealer's hall was seriously lacking. Um, I feel like most of the stuff that was being sold there was either not like geeky related or, um, I don't know, it was just, there wasn't stuff that you there that you could buy that you couldn't get somewhere else easily. Like there was just not, I don't know. There was a stuff I really wanted to buy. Um, so kind of combining those two things, I, you know, I kind of caught bored most of the time. Um, but I still had fun. Um, and it was still a good experience. Um, unfortunately, my cosplays didn't go over as well as I thought they would. Um, because I was really uncomfortable and so it came down to where I had choose plans and things like that and I had to cancel because I was so uncomfortable. Um, especially on day one Saturday, um, I debuted Baby Doll from Sucker Punch and the shoes that I got for that cosplay I had not worn before and I quickly found out how uncomfortable they were. Um, I'm still having back pain because of them. Um, so they kind of ruined my day on Saturday and then they kind of ruined me into Sunday. Um, on Sunday I was um, Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones um, in her Karth dress and I couldn't enjoy as much as I wanted to just because I was like in a lot of pain and so having to be up and wandering around still was difficult. Um, so the con in itself, like I said, was kind of okay. I would say though that my highlight of the entire convention was getting to see Mike Coulter, aka Luke Cage, in person. And then Stan Lee ended up surprising him on stage, which was an awesome bonus because I've never seen Stan Lee before, so it was really cool. Um, but yeah, so the convention was just kind of eh. I'm, and I felt like a lot of what was lacking too is just seeing friends. And I mean, I had Southern California friends that when I just didn't see anybody. See, with like Anime Expo, I'm so used to running into so many people and that's what makes it fun but it just that wasn't there which was kind of sad but um anyway so that's it for the con now let's get into the fun stuff which is things I bought <laughs> starting off with um I got some small little Sailor Moon goods there was a booth that I bought these from that was buy three get one free for all their little small blind box type things so I got one of these little Sailor Moon cup charm things and when I opened it I got Luna and Artemis, which I was going to be happy with whoever was in here. Um, I previously got one with the Outer Senshi, but this one's the Inner Five, plus Luna and Artemis and Tuxima. So I, I would have been happy with any of these, but Luna and Artemis are definitely really cute. Then I got the um, Sailor, Mo Sailor V's um, little crescent compact there in the miniature tablets. I'm thinking about doing a Sailor V cosplay someday, so I thought mm, maybe I'll get this. And then the last little Sailor Moon thing is this really cute um, moon uh, bag charm or phone charm. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it, but it's got her brooch and then the um, crescent moon wand. And then the thing that I got for free, I thought these are so cute, you know, look at the Pikachu. Like, look at all these cute Pikachus. I can't wait to see which one I'm going to get. You don't want to know what I got? I got the Ditto Pikachu. Look how derpy it is. I was like, I don't want this anymore. <laughs> I was like expecting a really cute Pikachu and I was like, I had to get this one. Of all the things, I never have good luck with blind boxes. Like, I really don't. Um, I don't know why I continue to buy, but I do. And then the next thing that I got at the con, um, there was a booth that passed by, they're called Akibento, and basically it's a random grab bag. The only reason I decided to buy this, it was $25, and I was like, hey, what have I got to lose? Is because of the shirt. 
you got to pick a shirt, which is cool. Um, but I saw this and I was like, I really want this. Sailor Moon Tixie Mask is this senpai noticed me. I just, I love the shirt, it's so cute. Which, they didn't even have my size, so I had to get a bigger size, so not the sleep shirt. But, um, I was really disappointed with the stuff that's in here, because to me it's absolute junk. Um, I don't even know who this is. An Attack on Titan chibi scarf, which I'll never wear. Light from Death Note socks. This is kind of cute, but I just won't wear it. It's a dongo tie. And then this. A kill a kill scissor blade necklace. This. A Kaneki cosplay mask from Tokyo Ghoul. and this random anime looking character keychain. So for me, I was like, I got nothing that I wanted <laughs> except for the shirt. So basically I just paid $25 for a shirt and some stuff that I don't know what to do with. I'm thinking about either selling some of the stuff off or I might do a giveaway. So stay tuned to my social media. I might be giving, if you saw something that you like, um, I might do a giveaway for like all the stuff because I don't want to keep it but yeah anyway so next I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I got while I was also down in Southern California but not at the con. So while I was down in California I just had to go to a few stores and things. The first place I went which I all love going to is Daiso um, which is basically like a Japanese dollar store and I get asked this a lot um, about where do I get my false eyelashes because a lot of people are like you know they look really nice and so to be honest I normally don't spend hardly any money I get my eyelashes from Daiso they're Japanese style eyelashes I don't really get any ones in particular as you can see I get different kinds but like these are only like I think like a dollar or a dollar fifty and like they're so nice and they last me multiple uses so I got some eyelashes and I got some cute little bow nail stickers and also from Daiso, I got these cute little cherry blossom bowls. And then next thing I got that's not um, from the con, we went to Little Tokyo, of course. And I went to the Sanrio store and I got this really cute little twin stars container thing. You can put like, I'm thinking probably like cotton balls or Q-tips or something. But it's so cute. And little twin stars are my absolute favorite Sanrio characters. And I got this really cute little towel. I'm planning on taking this on my next Japan trip next year because a lot of um, restrooms in Japan don't have paper towels or blow dryers or anything like that. So a lot of people carry hand towels or hand, hand uh, handkerchiefs. <laughs> um, so I got this really cute one. Um, and then the last thing is I went to the Hello Kitty Cafe. Um, it's a pop-up in Irvine. And I got this cute bag. I got All I got was an iced tea because I've been loading up on macarons and they were out of the macarons at the truck. So I decided I'm just going to get an iced tea and then I got this cute Hello Kitty shirt. This is exclusive to the cafe. So yeah, that's all the stuff I got on this trip. Um, I don't really know when my next video is going to be. I am taking a semi break from conventions for a little bit. Um, so I might be going to Otakon Vegas. I don't know. We shall see. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll try and put out more content before the end of the year. I'll try. I promise. <laughs> no guarantees though. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.